So this is the Particles Homework Booklet Question 3. We've got 23290 thorium. Uh, it's a neutral atom of thorium. How many protons, neutrons and electrons does it contain? Well, we've got 90. That is the proton number. That's the number of protons. Uh, it's neutral, so it's got the same number of electrons as protons. So I can do the 90 straight away in there from the number of protons for the number of electrons. Number of neutrons is the total number of nucleons. Take away the number of those nucleons, which are protons. 232, take 90. We've got 142 neutrons. Why X thorium is a neutron? atom of a different isotope of thorium which contains Z electrons. Give possible values for X, Y and Z. Well, X and Z has to be the same. It's still thorium. That's defined by having a proton number of 90. Different isotopes still have the same proton number. So the number of protons and the number of electrons must still be 90. Uh, what do we know about a different isotope? What we know is that it's a different number of neutrons. What to go with? All oh, decisions, decisions. Uh, I went with one extra, 233. They, uh, their mark scheme accepted anything between 20 fewer and 20 more, anything between 212 and 252. It was suggest a possible value for X, Y and Z. So that's the Particles Homework booklet question three.